Have you noticed any increases in crime in the community? Um, I'm sure there's been an influx of people in the area. Not too much out here. Mm -hmm. um, in New Martinsville, mm -hmm. uh, there has been, but mm -hmm. Chesapeake has spread so much money around New Martinsville mm -hmm. that you can hardly get anybody in New Martinsville to talk about it. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as like the sheriff's department, because mm -hmm. we have we've brought that question up, yeah, um, and they they won't talk about it. Mm -hmm. But from people who I know in town who are connected to other people who know people, you know, we hear that yeah, uh, there's been. You know, not a huge amount, mm -hmm. but enough that's been noticed. Mm -hmm. Maybe drinking-related crimes, drinking, such as DUIs. DUIs, yeah, those kind of things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, public intoxic intoxication. Mm -hmm. um, probably out here, one of the worst things, but we're trying to work with the DOT on this, is the um, the violations with these trucks, mm -hmm. you know, such as the pipe coming off yesterday. Yeah. You know, these guys not checking their loads. Um, they don't have the proper permits. Mm -hmm. um, in the beginning, and although we can't prove this now, one of the things that, you know, was they were dumping this water from these ponds mm -hmm. on the roads because there was days that you could smell it mm -hmm. because they run water trucks now to keep our roads watered. I to noticed keep that. The dust down. Mm -hmm. And you could smell the water mm -hmm. and now you don't because now they're supposedly using fresh water yes. because we noticed this this smell and we started complaining about it and so we think they were putting this uh, pond water mm -hmm. they were using it to order eggs with mm -hmm. so what was in it we the have no water. idea mm -hmm. you know some kind of wastewater mm -hmm. and so now that they're not doing that but we do get the DOT out here more than we used to such as this is from the uh, newspaper in uh, Green County, PA, over by Waynesburg. Mm -hmm. And it's about the police cracking down on the truckers over there. And in one day, with the violations that they got, police issued more than 50 citations with fines of almost $24,000 and impounded the vehicles. One day. In one day. Wow. You know, and we can't, and up, up until recently, we couldn't even get the DOT to come out here. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is money that would be going back into the county, as mm -hmm. well as, you know, the state treasury, which those go back on the, on the road, these fees, mm -hmm. um, to help with the roads. So they're letting all these trucks come through. Mm -hmm. Truck after truck after truck, you know, we would see these trucks every day, and we would report them with violations, violation after violation after violation. And when the DOT is out here, the eight or ten hour period that they're out here, they have trucks impounded and pulled over and held for permit violations and different violations all over the place. Mm -hmm. We need the DOT out here every day. Mm -hmm. We need them out here enforcing these violations mm -hmm. because the, the truck yesterday, that pipe, it's not the first time a pipe was rolled off of a vehicle. On Doolin Hill last year, a, I think it was a 36 inch round pipe came off the truck and wow. thank God it didn't turn and roll down the hill. It rolled and when it rolled the end of it caught against a tree and held there. So it didn't go back down the road which was on a steep hill and there was cars coming up behind this truck. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just every day. There are hundreds of accidents out here that never get reported. You know, We have pictures of a lot of them because we travel the roads with our cameras. Um, there's three or four of us that we kind of patrol and we have CBs and we listen and when we know there's an accident we go and report it. Mm -hmm. Another another issue out here is our emergency vehicles can't always get through. Yeah. Last fall yeah. there was a gentleman over on Macedonia had a heart attack and Chesapeake had an accident, the road was blocked. The EMTs and it took them an extra 50 minutes to get to this gentleman and get him back to the ambulance. They had to carry him on a four-wheeler to get him back to the ambulance. So. And this is not the first time that this has happened. It's happened several times. And last winter, I fell in my barn and gave myself, I think, a concussion. And I knocked myself out. When I came to the house, when I got down here, I called Bonnie. And we had had a big snowstorm. And the road was blocked from one end to the other. Chesapeake had tractor and trailers out here and, and you know, 10 inches of snow. 
which aren't even supposed to be traveling during these type of weather conditions. And Bonnie wanted to call an ambulance. And I told her, no. I said, I said, I know I have a concussion. I said, you know, just stay with me until Tony gets home so that, you know, someone's with me. Just keep an eye on me. I said, it's, you know, I'm not going to go. And mm-hmm. I said, besides, as we listened to the CB, I said, there's no way to get an ambulance out here because the road was blocked from Silver Hill, well, even beyond Silver Hill, all the way back toward New Martinsville, which is where the ambulance would have came from. Mm-hmm. There would have been no way that he could have got out here to me that day, if, you know, if we had called the ambulance. And, and that happens quite a bit. And we've tried to get them to, when they have accidents, we want them to report it to 911 so that if they have a, a 911 call from out here, that they can reroute the ambulance before it starts. Yeah. And, you know, not waste time mm-hmm. getting to the scene of an accident and they have to turn around and reroute mm-hmm. and waste time. Mm-hmm. And it's almost impossible. Yeah. We argue with them almost weekly to get them to call because um, we'll see an accident because anything over $500 is supposed to be reported to the sheriff's office. Yeah. It's not. Not if they can help it. If they can get it cleaned up before anybody sees it, mm-hmm. they do. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't get reported. And it never ends. It, can, you know, it goes on and on and on. It just never ends. Mm-hmm. I mean, from every aspect of our life, it's, it's this out here now kind of controls us. Mm-hmm. I guess you could, yeah, that would be a good way. It controls us. That's very powerful. Yeah. Well, is there anything you'd like to say? Maybe considering people who might be, uh, to people who might be considering selling their gas rights or might be in a similar situation that you're in? I would tell them to go to an area such as ours mm-hmm. and look around before they do. Yeah. You know, come to Silver Hill, drive Macedonia Ridge, drive Blake Ridge. Mm-hmm. And and then you know and then decide if that's something that you want to bring to your area. Mm-hmm. You know, um, have your water tested before they start drilling near you, because if you don't have a baseline before they come in, then you know then they can say, well, you know, we didn't cause this. Yeah. Um, but basically, yeah, if, if you know if you're considering selling them, um, also you know get a lawyer. You know, get a lawyer, but take the time. To, to drive into an area where they're already drilling heavily for the Marcellus mm-hmm. and look around and talk to the people then, and then decide what you want to do. Uh-huh. If that's what you want to bring to your area. Yeah. That would probably be it. That's great advice. Yeah. Roseanne, thank you so much for the interview. Oh, no problem. We appreciate any kind of help we can get, any kind of notice <laughs> that mm-hmm. we can get, you know, to bring notice to this. And, and, and hopefully help other people or stop other people from getting into the situation mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. I know that they have to do this but there's ways that it can be done safely yeah. there are other ways and and more environmentally friendly than what they're doing and you know and we know the EPA is in their pocket we can't get any help you know from, mm-hmm. the, e- from the EPA and I'll, I'll tell you something kind of, that's kind of funny actually mm-hmm. is if Chesapeake calls our sheriff's department to report one of the residents blocking the road or or doing something to aggravate them three deputies will show up if we call the deputies or the sheriff's department on something against them we're lucky if one shows up but they've bought the police the, the sheriff's department a new car they've don- they, they've donated money to them for di- different projects that they're doing Mm-hmm. You know, they've they've thrown money all around New Martinsville, but New Martinsville's pretty well sewed up in their pockets. So we don't get much help out here. Thanks again. You're welcome. We appreciate you doing this.